Ita. <laughs> My wife kicked me out of bed about four o'clock in the morning. So I'm where I've got to be um, around about sort of half an hour before sunrise. I see the Suffolk countryside coming to life um, and I find that awe-inspiring. We saw fallow deer, fox. I didn't um, see the fox. You didn't, you weren't, <laughs> which, yeah? Which well, was we possibly saw, a we good We saw muntjac, of course. Yeah. I've seen grey partridges, hares, yeah, you rabbits, see, you see, you owls. See sites it's a magical time to be out yeah. in the countryside. That's what I gain from it. Taking a sustainable meat, finding ways to use it is, um, I think, quite positive. Yeah, I think it is. Truly traceable came about um, quite by accident. Really, we were um, we were asked by some friends of ours who took the the, the deli in Hales of the Thoroughfare Deli um, whether Lynn would make some sausage rolls just to to get them started. This was November 2014. I was shooting deer at the time as well, so. Um, we put it to them to perhaps try um, some venison sausage rolls and they were well received and it kind of went from there really, from, from, from sausage rolls to, to pies. Um, and then the venison pie won class champion at the British Pie Awards four months after we started and that kind of <laughs> was a bit of a game changer really, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, so tell me how the business works, Steve. Um, I'll do my stalk and um, if I'm lucky, um, the inspection and everything is carried out in the field, the evisceration or the gralic as you call it, um, is carried out in the field. We'll bring it back, put it into um, a chiller, depending on the time of day, I might grab a couple of hours back in bed and, and go to sleep. Then I'll get up and if there's anything to butcher, we'll butcher that. Then that'll go through into the kitchen where Lynn will cook. Um, get it all cooked, all the ingredients cooked, and then Lynn and Linda will start to roll pie bases out. They'll be filled, they'll be topped, they'll be egg washed, they'll go into the freezer, and then they'll go to the various different customers. Uh, I'll just sort of help out with odd jobs in the kitchens, the washing up, um, <laughs> making the tea. Um, so Lynn's making the, the pies? Lynn, Lynn, right Lynn, from scratch? Lynn makes the pies straight from scratch. Wow. We've two different types of pastry. We've got short crust pastry on the bottom yeah. and a butter rough puff on the top. So there's two different types of pastry. She'll make the she'll make the bases, we'll fill the bases. I think each base, each pie has got probably four or five ounces of, of filling in it. So it's well filled. Um, and then uh, they'll be topped egg washed and then frozen. So all you actually have to do is take them out of a packet, put them in an oven, 35 minutes later, you've got a meal that's ready to go. All venison. Venison is very, very healthy meat. It's virtually no cholesterol, very, very little fat. Surrounded in quite a rich pastry, but you know, you've got to have some. The, 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 the lash, <laughs> lashing, lashings of butter and lashings of lard. You can, po you can possibly feel your arteries hardening just a little bit by just looking at it. Well, but it everything good. in moderation. Yeah. Everything in moderation. Totally, totally. You, you and your wife now have a full time business, don't mm. you? From yeah. harvesting yeah. Uh, a wild species mm -hmm. in our countryside. Yes. I mean, a lot of people wouldn't even know that's possible. For a small company like us, um, to produce pies out of a muntjac is commercially viable. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's viable it, and, it, and it gives people that um, option to try non-farm deer um, and, and non-conventional deer. Yeah. So, uh, and I've, I, I think that people are hungry for that in my book, The Ethical mm -hmm. Carnivore, when yeah. I was researching it, you know, people were so curious about where their meat came from and they were often saying to me 
where can I get some meat where I really know where it comes from? We, we can trace each and every pie back um, yeah. to the animal it came from. And people do want to know where their, where their meat comes from. So if I came to you and I was buying this pie, yeah. um, like, would you, you be able to tell me exactly well, I can tell. I can tell you exactly where that okay. pie comes from. <laughs> this is my wife's batch record. Yeah. So she's made these venison pies. The cull number for that one was 106. Yeah. So we go to cull number 106. Yep. When I shoot any deer, I um, photograph each yep. and every one. And that's, there we are, 106. Now I know exactly what's in this pie. That one there, yeah, so that's 106. And that was shot on the 13th of the 10th Just at Wakelings at Fresh. Yeah. Wow. 7.08 in the morning, Mount Jack. Wow, it's about 14 kilos, a big one. Yeah, yeah. And he is in that, that pie, pie there. Wow. Also, I can print you out a map yeah, so to you show you exactly where. Exactly. I believe you've got it on your website where you can you type can, in yeah. the number and you can find out the exactly. age, the so sex, the, yeah. exactly where it was when it was shot. Absolutely. And I guess the most rewarding thing is you're linking the yeah. stalking to food, which yeah. which is is challenging, but even more rewarding when people eat it. Yeah, yeah, that is. It, it, it is. It, it. You have to. You have to be realistic about it and, and, and the fact that something has paid the ultimate price for you to have something yeah. to eat. Yeah. And why is it so important to you personally that every ingredient is truly traceable? Oh, I, do. I mean, it's, it's supporting local suppliers um, and it's all about Suffolk. Suffolk is just absolutely fabulous for produce at the moment mm. so i like to say that that's jimmy butler's free range pork in there from blytheborough i like to say that's a munt jack that was shot at great glemham um, the onions come from down the road so everything in there is truly traceable because we are truly traceable and if i, if I can't say that to somebody then that kind of defeats the object of what we actually are